Hello everyone and welcome to my Fallout 4 settlement building tutorial. This is just going to cover how to start off any settlement that you're in, if you need to know the basics. So what you want to do is find your workshop, that's that little red box station that I was just standing next to a second ago. And what that will do is open this little guide here. And now you can create and destroy items inside your settlement. There will be a little barrier around it showing you where you can and can't build. And what I would do at the beginning of the game is do what I'm doing here. You can walk up to like any item that's laying on the ground and hit scrap. And that will break it down and give you smaller items that you can use to build things in the future. So if you're in Sanctuary like I am at the beginning of the game, I would just walk through the entire town basically and just scrap like every single thing that you don't want. Like tables, chairs, wood, like broken trees, broken houses, This, uh, the little trees like I'm breaking now, those will give you wood pieces, and like old broken down houses will give you steel, and smaller objects will give you like wiring and gears and things that you can use in more complicated objects, and I'll get to that in just a little while. Also while you're going through you can just like fix up little things that you want, like I just fixed up this fence really quick here. So yeah, just use this time to go through and break down anything you don't want in the city. Trust me, you're going to need a lot of materials if you really want to do some bigger projects. Now, the next thing I would do is go find Sturgis. And the reason for that is he gives you a quest to do all these little building things that you're going to want to do at the beginning of building your city. But we'll get to that in a second. Now, as you're deconstructing things, back here you can find a chemistry station. And that can be used later to craft items. It's kind of hidden here, so you might not know it's there if you're not looking for it. I would just pick that up, walk it to wherever your little main building is. I usually use this building here since it has all of the other stations already set up. I'd just grab that, drop it down wherever you want. And now you'll have a chemistry station when you need it later. And then, behind you here, just past this little plot here, there was a broken down house here, but you can just scrap that and then build a new house on top of it if you'd like. I would go to this little blue building here, and there's a cooking station. I'd also take that and just do the same thing. Then you just have all of your stations set up in one spot. Just makes it easier for later. And you could also just move those into your own house if you want to build one. That would also be an option, but if you're just starting small and want to learn the basics and just get a little area set up nice and fast, I'd just do it like this for now. And then you can move it later when you build your own house. But yeah, now's the time to go find Sturgis. He will give you a quest hey, to do all the basic things in the town, like getting food and water. So, you were probably going to need to do this stuff anyway, so you might as well just get some experience for it while you're at it. And the first thing he wants you to do is get beds. Now, beds don't really take many materials. They're really easy to build. They just take, like, wood and cloth or steel and cloth. You can build a bunch of different kinds with basically nothing. Now, each uh, settlement you're in is going to have a population. You can see the population up in the top left there. We have five people, so that means we're going to need five beds, obviously. So you can just go in your menu, go to furniture, and then beds, and start creating them. This one that I have here just takes a little bit of steel and cloth. It's basically free. Like, you can see I have over 900 steel already. Like, it's basically nothing. So I just go into each house here and just put one bed in each of them. So nice and easy. It's basically free. Just get some easy experience there, and all of your people have a place to sleep. And you can use those to sleep in as well, if you need to heal up or whatever. Now, another easy way to grab some experience here is just talk to Mama Murphy really quick. She needs a specific kind of chair. And this takes like two seconds, I would just recommend doing this really quick. Go to furniture, and or actually don't go to furniture. If you go to furniture, then you have a wide selection of chairs here. And you can build any kind like this, but don't build one of these for her. You can set these up wherever you want in any of your 
houses or whatever if you just want to have chairs in them. But go to the special items here. And she wants this specific green chair. So that's also very, very cheap to build. And you can just grab some free experience really quick. No problem. Now that we have beds and furniture set up, the next thing Sturgis wants is water. This takes a little more time, but it's very helpful. Alright, so if you go into the menu and you go to resources and under water, you've got a couple different kinds of water pumps. If you just want to use this kind that I was just on, those are very cheap and very easy to set up, but they don't provide that much water. I would recommend getting this huge water purifier if you can, but if not, those little water pumps can be set up wherever. You can just throw those in the dirt wherever you want, and that's no problem. But I would go for the water purifier so you don't have to worry about water again for a while. These cost a lot more, and they require power, and you have to set them in the water. But once they're up, they provide 10 water to the town, so that's plenty more than enough for now. But if you do go that route, you're going to have to set up a generator. So, these require some different kinds of items. You're going to actually have to scavenge for these. But you can just set up a generator wherever you want. And if you look at them, there is an attach wire button. You just hit that, and then go over to the item you want to attach it to, and hit the button again. And there you go, now we've got 10 water for the town. Sturgis. So our water supply is completely taken care of now. We won't have to worry about that for a while. Those water purifiers do great for the town. Then go back up to Sturgis, and he's going to want you to get food now. So this takes a little bit more working. You're going to have to go find some food, because you don't start with any here, really. Behind this building, I would recommend going to the little fenced area. Seems to be growing well. And back here you can find a couple melons and a gourd. And these things can be replanted and you can have your people grow them. But that's not really much food. I'd recommend going out here to get more. If you head this way out the main entrance of the town and head toward the water tower up there on the right, right past there there's a farm and there you can get a ton of food that you can replant in the settlement. I'd recommend doing it this way, although you can just replant the stuff you get in the town. It won't be enough, but if you just go scavenge a little bit, you can easily get enough pretty fast. You don't have to go this route, but this will have you set up for a long time. And if you stop at the water tower here, you can just grab some quick easy supplies. And then there's a little trunk over here too, with some more stuff if you're just getting started. Now right past here, you can see the farmhouse directly in front of me there. Down here, if you want to talk to Connie Abernathy, you can actually barter with her. This is also just a good way to get caps. Some of the items you want to build later require caps, and this is just a good way to get some early if you just need someone to barter with at the very beginning of the game. So if you want to grab some from her, you can go for it. But the main reason we're here is because they have a ton of melons and tato plants. Now, I would just take all of these. They won't get mad at you or anything. It's not stealing. Like, you can just grab these and they'll regrow. So, yeah, I'd take all the melons, all the tato plants, and bring them back to your settlement. These are the tato plants over here. So, yeah, once you've got all these picked up, I'd just go right back over to Sanctuary or wherever your settlement is, and you can start planting those. So go to Resources and Food, and it will show all of the food items that you have in your inventory. And you can just click on them and replant them in the ground wherever you want. So, there's a gourd. There's a melon, and you can just line those up, and that will raise the amount of food in the town. So now you can see we have five food. Now the thing with food is, they have to be cultivated by settlers in the town. So by default, the lady in the town, she will pick the crops and just provide food for you, but that will only bring you up to five or six food total. If you want, you can set up Sturgis or Sturgis. the other guy in the town. All you have to do is click on them, and then click on the crops when you're in the workshop menu. And you can assign them to pick crops. So that can get your food supply up even higher once you get more members in the town. Now the next thing Sturgis wants is for you to get defenses for the town. And now this takes some different items if you want to go the more difficult route. You could build auto turrets, you can build traps, 
but for most of those kinds of things, you're going to have to play the game a little bit more to get the items you need. Like, here I've already destroyed, like, the entire town trying to get items, and you can see that I'm still missing some to build turrets. So, there's a button there. You can hit tag for search, and you can see I just do that there. A little magnifying glass icon shows up next to the circuitry I need. So, I head over to the Red Rocket Station. I'm not going to be using this for a settlement of my own, so... I'm just going to go over here and scrap everything over here, try to get some circuitry. You can do the same as well if you need anything. Just make sure before you leave to come over here to the workshop and take any items you picked up and put them in your inventory before you leave. Because workshops do not transfer from town to town, the items you have in one workshop will stay in that location. So take all your stuff, go back home, put it in your inventory or put it back in your workshop there. I'd probably just put it back in the workshop so you're not carrying all that steel and whatever you picked up. It's kind of a waste of inventory space. So yeah, throw that back in there, and then you will now have, hopefully, all the items you need to build whatever you want. And of course, you can just go adventuring or whatever. And as long as things are tagged for search, if you find an item that has the item that you need inside of it, you can just pick that up as you go, and the game will let you know that it will help you out later. So. Now I, you can go up here, I like to set up my defenses here to start at the main entrance. And if you build a guard tower like this, just know that it requires someone to man it. You can see that it requires a person over there on the little bar there, and the person's bread. So the way to assign someone to that is, there are three people in your town that can be assigned to various jobs. It's just everyone except for Mama Murphy and the guy with the gun and the hat. All three of the other ones can be assigned Sturgis. places, like you can assign Sturgis. So, you can just walk up to them when you're in the workshop menu. Hit A on them, and then hit A again on the tower, and they will be assigned to that. Same with assigning them to food. So, yeah, I set up a turret there as well, and turrets don't need to be manned by anyone. They will just automatically attack if you are attacked. So, yeah, now we have all the basics of our town set up. We've got food, water, we've got power, we've got defenses. You can see everything taken care of up on the top screen. And now it's the fun part. Now we get to start actually building up the town. You can build a house, you can build walls, you can build anything you want. And that's about it for the basics of town building, guys. I hope that lets you know how to get a settlement started in Fallout 4. Also, I do a Fallout 4 Let's Play. If you'd like to watch that on my channel as well, be sure to check that out. And I think I might do another guide in the future getting into more detail on like how to build houses and how to build circuitry, how to build all the electronics and that kind of thing. That stuff gets way more complicated, so I didn't want to throw it in here. But yeah, I hope I helped you guys out, and let me know if there's anything else you guys don't know about in the comments below. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.